This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the laptop screen doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today, today we have a Toshiba L775D laptop computer, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Toshiba L775D laptop computer. Uh, before we do anything with this laptop or any other laptop, we need to remove the battery to make the laptop safe to work on. And the way we do that is flip over the laptop, slide the two levers on either side of the battery out, outward, and then slide the battery out like so. And also while I'm on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number for this laptop. On the label it says Satellite L775D, and that's the model number that you need when you're looking for it. Okay, well, let's take, flip the laptop over and get started. Just like with most laptops, uh, to get to the screen assembly, you need to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to do that, you need to remove the four screws on top and two screws on the bottom there, securing the screen bezel to the screen assembly. And in order to get the job done, you need some tools. And I'm going to show you the tools I'm going to use. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 stands for the size. A PH00 screwdriver for smaller screws. A flathead, 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver to pry things off and to get to the screws that are at an angle. A hobby knife or exacto knife to remove plastic screw covers. And a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck. All right, so let's get started. We're going to remove the plastic screw covers that are hiding the screws. We use the hobby knife. And what I like to do with the screw covers is attach them next to the screw openings so I don't lose them. And there's two at the bottom they're hiding. There's one. And there's two. And then there's two more top middle, which I forgot. One and two, like so. Okay, now once we do that, we take our PH1 screwdriver and start removing the screws one by one. One, two, and for each step, for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile and keep the piles in the order in which I remove the screws, and that helps me track which screws go where when I'm putting the laptop back together. Okay, so that's four at the top, and we remove the two at the bottom. One and two. Okay, so once we do that, we remove the screen bezel, and that's probably the hardest part of the job because you have to snap it off. And what I like to do is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting it up and pushing it, pulling it outwards. That seems to be the best method for doing it. So lift it up and pull it outwards towards you. Like so. When doing this, be careful not to damage the screen bezel. Just take your time. And then do the same thing on the bottom. And then to remove the part of the screen bezel that covers the hinge, I insert my flathead screwdriver and lift it up like so. That seems to be the trick. And the screen bezel is out. 
Okay, for this type of screen, it's mounted to some metal mounting brackets on the sides, so there's screws on each side of the screen that we have to remove. And for this laptop, it's fairly easy to get to these screws, to access these screws. For other laptops, it's not. So all we have to do is pull the screen just a little bit away from the back of the screen assembly so we can access these screws. There's three screws on each side that you have to remove. Usually the bottom one is the hardest one to access, but in this case, it's not too bad. And when you're doing this step, make sure the screen is tilted a little bit backwards so when you remove all the screws that the screen doesn't fall down on you. So three on this side, and we turn it around. And we remove the three from the other side. So one and two and three, like so. Okay, now that the screen is free from the screen assembly, we gently start tilting it forward and right away I'll show you where the better angle is. Right away we see that the webcam cable is adhered to the back of the screen so we gently pry the webcam cable away from the screen and we gently lower the screen and I'm going to see that we don't get into any trouble doing this and it looks like with this one it's hard to lower the screen all the way so what we have to do is remove the connector or actually what we have to do is pull the video cable a little bit away from the screen assembly because there's some adhesive there and that way it gives us better more room to work with so then we can pull it down so what I did was there was some adhesive on the video cable that was stuck to the back of the screen. So I gently pulled it away like this and that freed up the screen enough so I can lay it down like so. So this part's a little bit tricky and be careful not to damage the video cable. Okay, the next step is to remove the connector. There's only one connector for this type of screen and it's right here. And what you do is you remove the adhesive tape that covers the top and you lift it up. The back of the video cable also has some adhesive that's stuck to the screen. So once you lift up the adhesive from the top and the bottom, you slide the connector outward and now the screen is free. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to put the connector back in because people seem to have difficulty in that. It's a little bit of a tricky connector. So when you slide the connector in, you'll feel two clicks. You won't hear them. You'll feel them. And uh, let's take a look at the close-up of the connection, see what it looks like. Okay, pause the video right here and make sure your connection looks like this. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. No gap in the seam. That means you have a good connection. All right, so let's keep moving on. Okay, next we slide the connector out and we take a look at this screen. This is a 17.3 inch LED screen as of early 2012. It's a very common screen on laptops, so it should be widely available. Let's take a look at the part number you need. Okay, the part number you're looking for is LP173WD1. LP173WD1. That's the part number you're looking for. Okay, you can also buy this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and uh, what you get with us is free email technical support when you do the installation. We offer you a two year warranty on our screen. And also, we offer a compatibility guarantee. So if the screen we send you is not the right one, we'll take it back and send you the right one at our expense. 
And finally, uh, we ship from all over, to all over the world. So if you do not live in the United States, most likely we can ship to your country. So to order the screen from us, go to screensurgeons.com, click buy a screen, and then there will be a short form for you to fill out. We just need your email address and your laptop model number. And with that information, we'll send you back the link to buy the right screen online from us. And also, uh, while you're online buying the screen, we have this exact toolkit available for sale also. And this has all the tools you need to replace the screen if you don't have it yourself. Okay, once you do have the screen in, chances are it will not be the exact same part number, but it will be 100% compatible because five or six different vendors sell the exact same screen. So once you do have it here, you insert the connector like I showed you. Then you mount the screen on the metal mounting brackets like so. And then you snap on the screen bezel. And then you put on, put in the screws on the top and the bottom, and you should be done. And overall, this is a fairly easy laptop to replace the screen on. So if you crack the screen on this laptop, you should be able to do it yourself with no problem. Okay, and that's it. Uh, my name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.